Hello, hello, hello there everyone. Alex here with Luxat Games, here to bring you a modern challenge today. Tomorrow we'll be doing the Pioneer Challenge, but today we're going to play some modern with Tron. We are Tron fans on this stream. After all, who wouldn't want to make seven mana on turn three? All right, we lost the die roll against a guy named Just Burn 420. Oh my god, it's Just Burn 420. All right, so Just Burn 420 won the last challenge or did very well in it. I think got third or whatever. With Burn, so we're against Burn uh, with Oko in the deck. <laughs> so something to note as well is that they will have access to Oko. Post-board, I believe, not pre-board. So that, that part's great. That's kind of hilarious that we're against Just Burn 420. Matter of fact... I'm going to go ahead and snap a picture of that real quick and send it to a friend of mine that uh, sent me Just Burn's list. Because he also thought it was absolutely hilarious that there was an Oko in the Burn deck. If you're friends with me on Facebook, you'll also see that I posted Just Burn, or, or Just Burn 420's list. Alright, cool. Let's get that over. And I should probably mute my phone so it doesn't beep randomly all throughout the stream. Woo! We're getting to make mulligan decisions. Our decision is to mulligan. I'm going to keep this because any land, basically, this is our net, net draw. I am actually going to go ahead and bottom the card. Normally I like bottoming the non-Tron land, but not having second land to activate map just seems terrible. Alright, burn opponent, play your burn cards. Ideally, it's a goblin guide that gives us a Urza piece. There's a goblin guide. One Urza land, please. Uh, well, let's find out what it was. Chromatic Sphere. Well, that kind of gives us gigs up on what we're doing. So map pass. And we kind of have two draws, so if the Goblin Guide hits a land that's uh, a non-matching Tron piece, we'll have Worm Coil on three. Unfortunately, we are on the draw. Ooh, looks like the opponent kept one lander, though, so that's pretty good for us. Land? Not a land. Unfortunate. Another Chromatic. So since this can actually find anything, I'm actually going to start with uh, Chromatics to cycle, see if we can cycle into it. So once upon a time, can't quite cast that yet, but we can cast it next turn. If our opponent casts a single bolt, I don't think we can race that anymore. <laughs> it's a little unfortunate. We basically had to have that Worm Coil on three. City of Brass, yep. Yep. Card liberated. All right, we're going to go ahead and concede at this point. Uh, we can no longer win the game. So, our sideboard plan against Burn is this pile of Thrag Tusks. And I don't think I'm going to bring in the Pitting Needle, even though we're aware of the Oka. Uh, what we cut. Uh, these Ulamogs are almost always too slow. And Karn Liberate is a little bit better on the draw. I'm going to go ahead and cut him on the play. Or on the play, but I'm going to cut him. And I think that's what we're going to send in. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and trade that out. I think I want only one Ugin, one Karn. Seven mana versus eight is a world of difference in this matchup. Of note, we're leaving Trinisphere in the board because we um, want to be able to wish for it for Car with Karn. Because Tron on three on the play, I can wish for Trinisphere and pass to them. And then if they don't hit their third land drop, they no longer cast spells. So a little bit of a rough start to this challenge, but hey, you know, there's burn decks everywhere to check Tron decks like us.
So that City of Brass also says definitely that they are a burn deck. Ironically, uh, splashing two colors <laughs> for Oko allows you to answer Core Firewalker too. So. Opponent's going to take a moment to board here. So hopefully everyone out there is doing well. If you're enjoying this content, if you want to see more of it, please definitely leave me a comment down below. It's a huge help. Yeah, these Thrive Tests give us basically a second Worm Coil we can cast. Tron is pretty important in this matchup, though. Actually, I actually don't know if Ghost Quarter is just Stone Rain against their deck. Probably not. I imagine they have at least one mountain in it. We would like to play first. Unfortunately, we're going to have to send this one back. Well, this is a keep. This is 100% a keep. Let's hope this one finds the mine, or the power plant. No mine. No more mines. We already have a mine. In fact, I'm going to play it first. Play a sphere, and we're going to stir on two. Ooh, a bump in the night, probably. Nah, that's a goblin guide. Alright, that's fine. Let's see what we get off that. Sylvan Scrying. Alright, sweet. Now we have guaranteed Tron on three. That's great. Alright, so let's pop this for a green. Let's see what we draw. Thrag Tusk. Alright. Go ahead and cast a Sylvan Scrying. Grab the power. We have the power. We have the power! So next turn we're going to go current Great Creator into Trinisphere. Especially if the opponent had a one lane keep again. Because even though they can attack down the Karn, they can't even uh, smash a Trinisphere. Smash a Smithereens or Destructive Revelry. I'm not sure which one they'd be playing. what Goblin Guide shows. Sylvan Scrying again. <coughs> Excuse me. A little unfortunate we don't have a green source for these. Ooh, a Tarka's Command. Alright, sure. Go to 12. RNGC. Minus, he'll grab a three ball. Absolutely, we want to use his ability. Double check that's three ball I want. I'm pretty sure there's no reason it wouldn't be. Let's go ahead and grab it. Here's Sphere. Pass to the opponent. If they don't have a land drop, that was, this Goblin Guide will be the last spell they cast. Now we're just hoping, ah, they do have the land. That's a little unfortunate. So now we're just hoping to rip Worm Coil off the top or a Forest. A Forest would even be good because that allows us to get this uh, Thrag Test down. It's a shame I can't wish for a Star or Sphere. I have a really bad line to wish for a Star or Sphere, and that's Karn wish for a Tormod Script, pay three for it. <laughs> that seems pretty bad. This looks like another Atarkus Command to put us to six. Yep, another Tarkus command post to six. Alright, 
Let's see if we can draw that land. Oh, push to nine and kill Karn. Sweet. Sweet, that's way better for us. So I can get down this map. But to get down this map, I have to go down to three mana and leave myself open to just taking hits. Yeah. Play this out, crack it, get a forest, yep. play the forest and stir. Uh, let's go ahead and grab additional tower. Any order the rest, and hope our opponent can't kill us. I don't think they can with this Trinisphere in play, but um, that's on the opponent to prove me wrong. All right, second Goblin Guide's much less threatening. See what they get in for. Alright, Karn Liberated. Ooh, Karn Liberated takes away a land. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, so... This is a Thrag Tusk with one floating. All right. I think I get to Thrag Tusk plus um, Karn Great Crater here, but I just wanted to make sure. Thrag Tusk first, let's gain some life. It's a little shame that we're one short of casting this Karn Liberated, because taking them off a of land would have been incredible. Karn Great Creator, and here's the, uh, we actually won't be able to cast another spell because of this Trinisphere. I'm actually gonna animate the Trinisphere and block both the Goblin Guides. I am not going to get in with Transphere. Getting in with Transphere, in addition to turning it off, removes it as a blocker, which is the point of me keeping it. Wish I could have grabbed Liquid Metal Coating and cast it, because then I could have um, stunned the land during their upkeep. But doing so requires me turning off Transphere. I feel that we took the right line. In fact, if the opponent doesn't hold up any mana, there's a chance we just go for Lattice next turn. Alright, the opponent's probably just going to skewer Transphere. That's fine. Yep. Ooh, follow-up spell. Alright, opponent, what's your follow-up spell? Bumping us. Alright, sure. We'll go to seven. So it's on top of our library. Worm Coil Engine. That's a good one. That's a good one. Drag test block here. They don't currently have us dead. Um, let's see here. Start with Strying. Let's get another tower, play the tower. Feeling like it's Worm Coil. Let's see, if we lattice them now, we win the game. So yeah, let's lattice them. Why did I not just see that line? We're just gonna lattice and win the game. Here's a lattice opponent. You can no longer cast spells. Here's a Worm Coil Engine. I'm actually going to go ahead and get in there with Thrag Tusk because uh, they can't cast spells. All right, sweet. We got game two. All right, so that was barely winning game two after having turned three Tron. Let's see what we can do for game three. For the record, I'm perfectly fine with our um, 
Trisphere having gotten skewered there. Like, um, the worst case scenario was obviously it gets Searing Blaze. But I think having it as a blocker there was a good option. Those stones are so bad against my opponent's deck. I'm just going to cut no stone and bring back in Karn. O stone's just so slow. Matter of fact, I'm gonna cut another O stone and bring in Ugin. Ugin at least upticks to kill their threats. And ha uh, ultimates in two turns to basically win, or yeah, two turns to basically win the game. King seven's pretty good. Their mana base was a little bit more painful that game, that's for sure. Since they had to use that City of Brass basically all game. Alright, just burn 420. I'm going to keep this. I'd like the record to show I'm not happy about it. But I'm going to keep this. We're kind of hoping for a little bit of an awkward start out of our opponent. Looks like they took a mold of six instead. All right, GG. Let's see if we want to cast this once upon a time before we draw. So the revealed card is a chromatic star. We do not want that, so we will be casting this once upon a time. Power is exactly, oh God, I read power plant and went, no, not like this. So let's take our two. Play out our tower. Play map. Pass the turn. If we rip mine, we will go Chromatic Sphere uh, Ancient Strings next turn. If we don't, we just go map pass. All right, looks like they kept the double Goblin Guide start again. Lands? Ah, uh, spheres. All right. Well, their Goblin Guide start's going to be good enough, unfortunately, it looks like. Double Goblin Guide is pretty brutal, so... Currently, I have nothing to cast if I Tron on 3 anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and go for the Chromatic. And go for the Hail Mary play of either Draw Worm Coil or the Tron Land, and Ancient Strings into the other one. So, let's go. Sylvan Strying, that's close. There's the mine. All right, that's half of it done. Now we need to rip a worm coil off the top. I guess a Karn would be pretty good too, because a Karn would allow me to take away their blood crypt. Let's see, we have... Two draw steps at Warm Coil next turn. Our natural draw step and uh, Chromatic Sphere turn. Another mine. Once upon a time is interesting, but unfortunately not going to quite be what we're looking for yet. Yeah, we're feel feeling kind of dead. Feeling kind of dead. So, one Warm Coil Engine, please. Off the top of my library, one Warm Coil Engine, please. Oblivion Stone. You're not going to be anywhere fast enough. Hmm. I'm going to go and play it out here. I realize I could once upon a time, but um, I think we're past that point of this game. And dead to literally any bolt. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to go ahead and concede. Opponent has the bolt. All right, so that's the end of our first match here in the Modern Challenge. Alex here with Luxat Games. Reminding you to smash that like button, that comment button. 
and the subscribe button. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for tuning in and have an awesome day.